Virgo. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for November 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So, Virgo. Here we are into November already. All right. Just got home from work. Dismal afternoon that it is. Very overcast and cloudy and dark in here <laughs> by the time I come home. Wow, this section all upright, this section all reversed, as is this overall. The lovers reversed, could be dealing with a Gemini. There may have been a recent loss here of a soulmate twin flame, somebody significant. I will clarify everything shortly, or it may be a missed opportunity. Even if it's an existing relationship, a missed opportunity to some sort of next level, we will clarify it all shortly, as I said. Present energy, seven of pentacles. Okay, a lot of hard work being put in here to get things to take off. Very confident, crossed with the Queen of Wands. Very confident, very determined. I've got this, I'm doing this. No matter how much hard work I've got to put in to get these results. Strength area, four of swords. Looking after number one, knowing when it's time to do some self-healing. Not wanting to put all that hard work in and get to a burnout stage and have it all come crashing back down. Okay, it is all about looking after number one, knowing when to take some time out for yourself just to keep things um, steady and manageable there. Focus area, Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, emotional support if it's needed. Sometimes it's not so obviously so, but that Ten of Cups is there. Content with where things are sitting. Recent past Ten of Swords, being able to release some sort of painful chapter that you have gone through and be able to get this new journey started and um, yeah and this time around I feel like it is looking after number one here then we come to the reversals over this side incoming energies princess of cups that is reversed a missed opportunity here when it comes to love as we mentioned possibly like an existing relationship to another level but it also may be somebody extremely brand new there may be a bit that needs sorting out here in order to get this side upright what you need to know the moon reversed the moon's giving you all the clarity it possibly can when things do seem a bit darker and grayer but um, sometimes when things are a bit gloomy and you're needing that time out for yourself it can be very tunnel visioned very stuck and very focused and not really looking out here at what this moon's giving you some clarity with again clarifications can get this sorted Okay, how others see you, King of Pentacles, reversed. They see you as having put a lot of hard work in and not getting the results. You're doing that hard work around your present energies, but those results don't seem to be coming through for you. Pretty tough. Okay, so here, Virgo, hopes and fears, Six of Pentacles, reversed. And that could be the problem. Okay, you're doing all the giving here on constantly give 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 which in turn means someone else's take 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 and i don't feel things are very balanced here and it is getting that back up right and getting things to be more equally balanced out equal give and take it's your final outcome nine of pentacles it is reversed there is success there for the taking but i feel like while you're trying to juggle all of this and get all of this sorted um, you're not able to see how close that, that success is to you. Wow, Virgo. So as I said, I do clarify everything. Starting with the lovers overall, it is reversed. Queen of Cups, the Moon, the Sun. There you go with 24-7 Illumination 
day, night, that sun, that moon is shining as bright as it could possibly be. You're proud of how far you've come emotionally, and this in itself is getting this lovers up right, warm, fuzzy feelings, and you know, getting things back on track here. Maybe that you've come, gone through a bit of a, a down, down um, what do you call it, a slump, is what I'm going to say, especially around somebody significant things can start to be picked up again from here, especially with that sun and that moon. Hard and hard work. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, present energies, Virgo. Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles. Yeah, having this focus, it all starts with a focus of what you want, who you want, where you want to be, and then putting the hard work in. Sometimes it does feel like you're doing this on your own, but there is success here. It may be sudden success, overwhelmingly so, but getting um, you know, control of finances, abundance, things are falling into place. But it hasn't come easy, and this hard work is needs to or is needs to be continued cross with the queen of wands six of pentacles the universe the magus love all of this love the clarifications manifesting a more balanced approach towards something or towards someone equally balanced as we mentioned rather than doing all the giving someone else doing all the taking the world is your oyster. The universe is turning and got your back, turning in your favor, and you are manifesting to your heart's content to get things on a more balanced um, playing field here and to get things happening and moving. Four of Swords, Strength Area, Virgo. The Hierophant, Temperance, Princess of Cups. Feel like you're wanting to offer love to somebody here. Somebody may be offering love to you, but I feel this is more you're wanting to make this offer to somebody. But somebody is trying to hold you back and tell you that you can't be with this person or instead that you need to be this, with this person over here. And it's not settling well with you. I feel like you're standing up here, speaking out, doing it your way and going with the flow. Could be dealing with Sagittarius or Taurus here but you're wanting to do things your way, especially when it comes to love. Might be while this um, area is reversed and that lovers is reversed, it may be from the pressure being put on you to be with someone else. Holy moly. So Virgo, Ten of Cups in your focus area. Ace of Swords, the Star, Six of Swords clearing the crap out and having this fresh new start clean honest open thinking and a new beginning here putting some plans into place to follow your dreams follow your wishes what your wishes are what your hopes are what your heart desires i'm just going to pause very bizarre just feel like i've got something stuck right here and it's annoying my throat, which may still mean something needs to be said, usually around the throat area. But I don't know what it is. It's just annoying me. However, Virgo, being able to move forward, following your heart here, following your wishes with this whole new fresh start. I don't feel like you're going to put up with crap from anybody here. Ten of Swords, past energies. The Chariot, King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. That success is so close. It's there for the taking and feel some very clear, level-headed, logical thinking, using your head over your heart, getting this chariot moving forward, okay? And, um, you know, closing that painful cycle off. Things are moving forward and they're moving forward for a reason rather than going back. Could be dealing with cancer here, but that success is there right in front of you. So then we come to this side with all these reversals, incoming energies, Princess of Cups reversed. You get the Wheel of Fortune fell out, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. It does take hard work to find other ways around things, okay, legally and morally I'm going to say, but a lot of hard work also to get that detour underway and get this Wheel of Fortune moving forward, getting some momentum in your favour. 
good luck, good fortune, bigger and better things. Hopefully that is for all of you, but it may be a different path than what you were initially intending to be on. Wow. What you need to know, Virgo, the moon reverse. Could be dealing with Pisces. Ace of Cups, Princess of Pentacles, the Empress. Follow your heart, follow your gut instinct. There is this new chapter here when it comes to love and there is an offer being made here, whether it's around a job you love, around a home you love, whether it's around love, love. Existing relationships, somebody brand new, this new chapter is getting underway regardless. And you're following your heart, you're following your gut instinct and doing this your way. Love that. How others see you, King of Pentacles reversed. Prince of Cups, Princess of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Regardless, there's this new chapter when it comes to love. Again, I'm going to say existing relationship, somebody new, but you're ready for this. Bring it on. You want this new chapter to get started. You need that ball to start rolling and things to start happening. Bring it on. I'm ready for this and let's get this chapter started. Very similar right here around this whole love area and around this new beginning and around this new chapter. Follow your heart, follow your gut instinct because you are ready for this. So Virgo, hopes and fears, six of pentacles reversed. Five of swords, seven of cups, the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries, divine masculine energy, emperor and empress right here in this row is clarification. Power couple there, having control of the situation, being able to look at all your options. It's been a constant battle, banging your head against a brick wall and I feel like now you're taking a step back and you're looking at these other options. You're looking at these other ways around things and what there is on offer here and you're not afraid to look at these other offers and you're in control of the situation with that emperor. So Virgo, let's see Nine of Pentacles, reversed final outcome. Ten of Pentacles, boom, there you go. The Hermit, your own energy, strength. Could be dealing with another Virgo or Leo. It does take strength to get that Nine of Pentacles upright and flow on to that Ten of Pentacles success. Happy family life right there. Doing some soul searching takes strength to do that as well and to see light at the end of the tunnel, especially with all of this reversed. But the clarifications here are telling you, yeah, go for it. It's absolutely saying now is the time. Get things moving, get things happening and just do it. But um, love all of that. So Virgo, finish with what the universe has to say. King of Wands reversed, Two of Wands reversed, and then the Queen of Pentacles upright. While you may be sometimes losing focus of where you're heading or what, what you want to be doing here, you've got this Queen of Pentacles upright, and that hard work is paying off. You're getting results here. You're proud of your achievements and how far you have come. But sometimes with those achievements comes a shift of where you're heading to next, shifting that goalpost to. Your original plan might have been here, but as this journey evolves, your new your plan, this new plan might be starting and it might be starting over here instead. So going with the flow, going with the ups and the downs, but ultimately Virgo, you have got it. You're in control of this journey and you're ready for it. Love it. So that's what I have for November. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for the week, please. See ya. Bye.